All About Electricity by Jessica Quilty What You Already Know Heat moves from warm to cold. Heat comes from light of the sun. It warms earth. Heat can come from other places, too. Light is a kind of energy. Energy can change things. Energy from the light of the sun can change the temperature. Light comes from many different things. Light can go through some things. Light cannot go through other things. Shadows are made when light cannot pass through something. Shadows are big when the light is close. Shadows are small when the light is far away. Fuel is anything that is burned to make heat or power. Fuel gives energy. Cars use gasoline for fuel. People need energy. People get energy from food. People need energy for everything they do. Some toys and games need energy to work. A battery stores energy. You can use batteries to make your toys and games work. Electricity has energy, too. Many things get energy from electricity. You are now about to read more about electricity. Our Electric World Many objects need energy to work. We use some of these objects all the time. Many of these things get energy from electricity. You are probably using electricity right now. Are there any lights on? These lights need energy to work. They get this energy from electricity. There are different ways to get electricity. Plug in a light. This connects it to power lines. Electricity goes from the line to the light. Or use a battery. Batteries store energy. They give electricity to things that are not connected to lines. Electric Power Electricity is made from different things in nature. Coal, gas, and oil are all used to make electricity. Power plants are places that make electricity. Power plants use fuels to make electricity. We burn fuel to make heat. Heat has energy. Electricity has energy. Heat is turned into electricity in power plants. Electricity leaves power plants. It moves in power lines. It goes to houses and other places. Electricity moves in wires. Wires are connected to outlets in walls. Some toys and machines have plugs. Grown-ups put these plugs into outlets. Battery Power What happens when an electrical toy does not have a plug? It still needs electricity to work. A battery can help. Batteries store energy. Put a battery in a toy. The toy then gets the electricity it needs to work. What if you want to use a flashlight outside? The flashlight does not have a plug. There are no outlets outside. A battery can give it the energy it needs to work. Many different things use batteries. Batteries let you take electricity with you. Switch it on. 
Electricity flows into your house. You use a switch to turn on a light. The switch connects the electricity. Then the electricity can move into the light. Electricity moves from place to place. It goes through wires. A switch is a button or knob. It is connected to the wires. A switch can start and stop the electricity as it moves. A switch that is on lets electricity move. A switch that is off stops the electricity. Make it go. Electricity can make many toys move. This car uses electricity to turn its wheels. Batteries in the toy help it get electricity. A toy train might move when you plug it into an outlet. It gets electricity from the wires in the wall. Electricity makes bumper cars move. Toys are not the only things that need electricity to make them go. Many vehicles use electricity to move. Some trains use electricity to move. Some kinds of cars do too. Even submarines use electricity to move under the water. Electricity at home. Your home is full of things that use electricity. Picture each room of your house. How many different electrical things pop into your mind? Look at these pictures. Electricity helps these objects do their jobs. A phone helps you talk to people who are far away. Electricity helps the phone work. A fan helps you stay cool when it is hot. Electricity makes the fan move. How many different ways do you use electricity? Animals and Plants by Shirley Horton Animals live in different habitats. Animals live in different places. Their body parts help them. Polar bears can live in very cold places. They have fur. Fur helps keep them warm. These animals help each other. Shrimp do not see very well. They can feel with their antenna. The shrimp feel the tails of the fish. The fish lead the shrimp. Animals get food. Animals use their body parts to get food. Some birds use beaks to eat. Some bird beaks can tear meat. Some bird beaks can open seeds and nuts. Animal teeth can break nuts too. Bears catch fish to eat. They use their claws and teeth. Zebras eat grass. Their flat teeth help them bite and chew. Animals stay safe. Animals have different ways to stay safe. The colors and shapes of animals can protect them. Camouflage is a color or shape. It makes animals hard to see. This insect is hard to see. It looks like a plant stem with a leaf. Camouflage helps it hide from other animals. Camouflage also helps it get food. Hiding in the water This big snake hides 
underwater. Its nose and eyes are on top of the water. It waits for animals that come near the water. Then it pulls them in. The animals are its food. Animals warn of danger. A rabbit can tell other rabbits that there is danger. It hits its back foot on the ground. A prairie dog can tell other prairie dogs that there is danger too. It makes a loud bark. Plant parts. Plants are living things too. They have parts that help them live. The roots take in water for the plant. The flower makes seeds. The stem takes water from the roots up to the rest of the plant. The leaf makes food for the plant. Plants in different habitats. Plants live in different places. Plants need light from the sun to grow. This plant lives in a dark rainforest. The big leaves can take in lots of light for the plant. Plants need water to grow. This plant lives in a desert. The desert does not have much water. The little leaves help keep water inside the plant. Plants stay safe. Plants have many ways to stay safe. Some plants have spines or thorns. Spines and thorns can hurt animals. Animals do not want to eat these plants. Other plants have a bad taste or smell. That keeps animals away too. Some plants use camouflage like animals do. Some plants look like the ground. They are hard to find. They stay safe. Now you know a lot about parts of animals and plants. What are some parts that keep them safe? What are some parts that help them get food? Changing Shape by Donna Foley What you already know. Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Matter can be a solid, liquid, or gas. Solids have their own shapes. They do not change shape when they move. Liquids can change shape. They take the shapes of their containers. Gases can change shape and size. Air is a gas. Matter can change in many ways. Different kinds of matter can mix. Some solids can dissolve in liquids. This means that the solid can spread throughout the liquid. Some liquids can evaporate. Evaporate means to change from a liquid to a gas. Matter can change from one kind to another. Sometimes the change is forever. Sometimes matter can change back and forth. Water is a liquid. It can change. Water freezes when it gets very cold. It is then ice. Heat melts ice. Ice changes to water when it gets warm. Water boils when it gets hot. It changes to a gas. This gas is water vapor. You cannot see water vapor. In this book, 
you will learn about ways that other kinds of matter change shape. Matter and Shape Different kinds of matter can take different shapes. Solids keep their own shapes. Each block has a size and shape that does not change. Link them together. They can make a new shape, but each block stays the same shape. Liquids are different than solids. They take the shapes of their containers. First, the water takes the shape of the jug. Pour it into a glass. Now it takes the shape of the glass. Gases are different from liquids and solids. They take the shapes of their containers, like liquids. But they can change size, too. A block is a solid. Water is a liquid. Air in the ball is a gas. Change it. Force can change the shape of matter. Force is a push or pull that moves or changes matter. The hammer hits the candy with force. The candy breaks into little pieces. The force of the hammer changes the shape of the candy. Do you think the hammer has to hit it with a lot of force? Balloons can stretch. Your hands pull the balloon. This makes a force. The balloon changes shape. When you let go, it goes back to the shape it was. Clay can change shape too. You can bend, pull, and push it to make new shapes. Twist and bend it. A sponge is matter. It is a solid. It is soft. You can squeeze it. You can twist and bend it. You can change its shape. It is twisted up inside the cup. When you take it out, it goes back to the shape it was. Balloons are solids filled with air. Air is a gas. Balloons change shape when you twist or bend them. The air inside the balloon moves around. Then the balloon takes a new shape. It can take the shape of a hat. It can take the shape of an animal, too. Stretch it. The chef is making noodles. Noodles can stretch before they are cooked. They change their shape when you pull them. Look how long and thin they can get. Some people wear suspenders. Suspenders help keep pants up. Suspenders can stretch. They change shape when you pull them, but they will change back when you let go of them. Roll and squash it. You can shape clay again and again. It is soft and will not break. You can use the force of your hands to change it. Metal is a very hard solid, but it can change shape too. Some adults have jobs where they need to change the shape of metal to make new things. They use fire to make the metal very hot. Then they use a hammer and other tools to bang and shape it. It takes a lot of force to change the shape of metal. Melt and cool it. Candles are made of wax. Wax can change shape too. The flame makes heat. The heat melts the wax. It changes from a solid to a liquid. The wax cools after it drips down the candle. Then it changes into a solid again. Matter can change shape in many ways. Different kinds of force make this happen. 
What other ways can you think of to use force to change the shape of matter? Day and Night Sky by Rose Murray What is in the day sky? The sun is a big ball of hot gas. Light from the sun warms earth. The sun makes the day bright. What can you see in the day sky? You may see clouds. You may see the moon, too. You can see the moon more at night. The bright sun. The sun lights earth. This light keeps earth warm. Living things need this light. The sun is bigger than earth. It looks small. It is far away. It seems to move across the sky. The sun is low in the sky early in the day. The sun is above you at noon. What causes day and night? Earth is always moving. Earth turns around and around. This is called rotation. Earth makes one rotation each day. Part of Earth faces the sun. Then it is day. Part of Earth faces away from the sun. Then it is night. Rotation makes day and night. What is in the night sky? Stars are in the sky. A star is a big ball of hot gas. Stars give off light. Stars seem to move across the sky. Earth is a planet. Nine planets move around the sun. Planets do not give off light. Most planets are hard to see. You can use a telescope. A telescope makes things that are far away look closer. Stars look small. They are far away. The sun is the closest star to Earth. The moon at night. The moon moves around Earth. The moon is round. The moon looks small. It is far away. The moon is not like Earth. It has no air. It has no living things. The sun shines light on the moon. We only see the part that is lit. The moon looks different each night. It looks the same again in about 29 days. Look at the sky in the day. Look at the sky at night. How are they different? What can you see in the sky? Egg to Owl by Jessica Quilty What you already know. Plants and animals change as they grow. These changes are called life cycles. Different living things have different life cycles. A frog begins as an egg. A tadpole hatches out of the egg. The tadpole grows to be a frog. Butterflies change and grow too. They start as an egg. A larva or caterpillar hatches from the egg. It looks very different from an adult butterfly. Next, the larva changes in a hard cover. It is then 
a pupa. The pupa is a butterfly when it comes out of the cover. Plants change and grow. Many plants begin as seeds. Seed coats are hard covers that keep seeds safe. Seedlings grow from seeds. These young plants can then grow flowers, stems, and leaves. Trees are plants. Some trees have flowers. Some trees have cones. Trees grow and change. Just like other living things, owls have life cycles. Owls change and grow in many ways. You are now going to read about some of the ways owls change and grow. Finding a nest. An owl needs a good nest so it can lay eggs. Different owls find nests in different places. Barn owls do not build their own nests. They use nests they find. Barn owls use nests in caves and in trees. They will also nest in the roofs of buildings. Owl nests protect eggs. They help to keep eggs safe from other animals. They also help keep owls, eggs, and babies warm. Hatching. Barn owls wait for their eggs to hatch. Mother owls sit on the eggs. The eggs need to stay warm. After about 30 days, an egg begins to hatch. Barn owls lay one egg at a time. They may wait one day to lay another egg. The eggs hatch in order. Baby owls are called owlets. Crack by crack, they make their way out of their eggs. The owlets are very small. They have down. Down is soft feathers. This down goes away as they grow. Growing fast. Owlets go through many changes. Their down falls off after a week. They then grow new down. This new down is a thick, heavy covering. It protects the owlets for about seven weeks. Owlets have a lot of growing to do. They are always hungry. Their parents are very busy hunting for food to feed them. Owlets start becoming tall and strong when they are about three or four weeks old. Getting big. The owlets are much heavier and much bigger at six weeks old. They are almost as big as they will get. But they are not ready to leave the nest. The young owls try to fly and hunt on their own. When they are about seven weeks old, the owlets fledge. This means they grow the adult feathers they need to fly. Now, the owlets are big and strong. They are almost ready to leave their nests and see the world on their own. Young Adult After barn owls grow their young adult feathers, they have grown big and strong. Now they are ready to fly. The owls begin by taking short trips away from their nest. At nine weeks old, they are able to stay away for more time. Barn owls are nocturnal, which means they hunt at night. When the owls are old enough, they hunt for food all through the night. When they are about a year old, the owls will begin looking for their own nests. They might lay their own eggs. From egg to owl. The barn owl life cycle begins with an egg. After about one month in the eggs, the baby owls, called owlets, hatch. Once they hatch, they grow very fast. They get bigger and stronger. The owlets have down. Their down changes. 
Soon, they grow their flying feathers. They are grown owls when they are 12 weeks old. Then, they are ready to leave the nest and begin their nighttime adventures. Energy by Christine Wolfe Heat. Heat moves from warm places to cold places. Heat moves from warm things to cold things. Heat can come from different things. Heat comes from the light of the sun. Light from the sun heats water and land. Rub things together. This makes heat too. Moving also makes heat. Jump up and down. How does your body feel? Energy. The sun gives light. Light is a kind of energy. Energy can change things. Energy from the sun can change the temperature. More light makes things warmer. Light and shadows. Light comes from many things. Can you see light from the sun? Is there a light in your room? Making shadows. Light can go through some things. Light cannot go through other things. A shadow is made when light is blocked. Stand in the sun's light. Your body blocks the light. The light cannot get to earth. There is a shadow. It is the shape of you. Changing shadows. Shadows can change. Shadows are big if the light is close. Shadows are small if the light is far away. Shadows are different at different times of the day. Shadows are short when the sun looks high in the sky. They are long when the sun looks low in the sky. Energy around us. There are different kinds of energy. A bus needs energy to move. It gets energy from fuel. Fuel is burned to make heat or power. Gasoline is fuel for the bus. Gasoline burns. Then the bus can move. Wind is moving air. Wind has energy. Energy from wind can make things move. Electricity gives energy too. Energy from electricity makes things work. Electricity moves from power lines to a plug. The energy moves into the cord from the plug. A battery stores energy. This toy car uses energy from a battery. Energy for you. People need energy too. We need energy to grow, change and move. People get energy from food. You use energy all the time. You use energy to play. You use energy to rest. You use energy to read this book. You even use energy to blink your eyes. Look at this house. Energy comes from all around. Can you name the things energy comes from? Look around you right now. You will see many things using energy. And you are using energy too. Food Chains and Habitats by Anne Rossi Food for Living Things All living things need food. You need food. 
Animals need food. Plants need food too. How animals get food? Some animals eat plants. Rabbits eat plants. Some animals eat other animals. Lions eat other animals. Some animals eat plants and animals. Skunks eat fruit, seeds, insects, and mice. How plants get food? Plants use their parts to make food. The leaves of green plants make food. They use light from the sun, air, and water. Plant roots take in water. The stem takes water to the leaves. The green leaves take in sunlight and air. Now the green leaves have what they need to make food. Food chains. Plants make food, and food chains start. Plants give off oxygen when they make food. Oxygen is a gas in the air. Animals and plants need oxygen to live. Animals find food in their habitats. They need to eat other living things. Some animals eat plants. Other animals eat those animals. The link between living things and the food they eat is a food chain. Some jaguars live in rainforests. Food chains are in all habitats. A rainforest is a habitat. The sun helps rainforest plants make food. Animals eat those plants. Other animals eat those animals. This makes a rainforest food chain. A marsh is a wetland habitat. The sun helps marsh plants make food too. Animals eat those plants. Other animals eat those animals. This makes a marsh food chain. Some caimans live in marshes. An Antarctic food chain. The Antarctic is a habitat. It is very cold. There are not as many living things there, but some plants and animals live in this habitat. Many live in the water. The Antarctic has food chains. Food chains connect the living things of the Antarctic. They tell how living things find food there. Plankton are living things. Some plankton use sunlight to make food. Krill are tiny animals like shrimp. They eat plankton. Penguins eat krill. Penguins swim to get them. Orca whales eat penguins they find in the water. This is an Antarctic food chain. Living things and food chains. Living things live in many habitats. Living things need to find food in their habitats. Plants make their food. Some animals eat plants. Some animals eat other animals. Other animals eat plants and animals. All living things are connected in food chains. Food chains, by Rose Murray. How do plants and animals get food? All living things have needs. All living things need food. Some animals eat plants. Some animals eat other animals. Some animals eat plants and other animals. Plants make food. Plants need food. 
Green leaves make food for a plant. Leaves use three things to make food. Leaves use air. Leaves use water. Leaves use light from the sun. Roots take in water from soil. The water goes up the stem to the leaves. Green leaves give off oxygen when they make food. Oxygen is a gas in the air. Plants and animals need oxygen to live. How do living things get food in a rainforest? A rainforest is a habitat. A rainforest gets lots of rain. A plant grows in the rainforest. The plant makes its own food. An animal eats the plant. Another animal eats this animal. Food for animals. Some animals find other animals to eat. This is their food. Plants make food. Animals eat plants. Other animals eat these animals. This is called a food chain. How do living things get food in a marsh? A marsh is a wetland habitat. It is a wet place. Marshes have food chains too. Plants in marshes make food. They use light from the sun. Animals eat these plants. Other animals eat these animals. Finding food. Animals find other animals to eat. A bird can catch a snake. The snake is food for the bird. Food chains are in all kinds of places. All living things are linked in food chains. Forces and Sounds by Carol Levine Moving Look at this ball. A boy throws it in the air. Does it go in the hoop? Force is a push or a pull that can make something move. Force happens when the boy throws the ball. What happens when the ball drops? It falls. Gravity is a force that pulls things down toward the ground. Gravity pulls the ball down. Using force. Throw the ball hard. How far will it go? Throw the ball gently. Now how far will it go? A hard push has more force. A gentle push has less force. Force can change the way things move. Speed Speed is how fast or slowly something moves. Use more force. Things move faster. Use less force. Things move more slowly. Ways to move. Look at a skater move. She goes this way and that way on the ice. She can jump up. She can bend down. She can go left. She can go right. She can go in a straight line. 
She can move in a curve. She can even zigzag. She might fall. Gravity pulls her to the ground. Different places. Look at these blocks. Can you tell where each block is? The yellow block is above the red one. The blue block is below the green one. The yellow block is between the blue one and the red one. The yellow block is next to the red one. The yellow block is on the floor. What will change if the blocks fall out of the bucket? Magnets. Look at the magnet staying up. A magnet attracts some kinds of metal. Attract means pull toward. Magnets do not always attract. They can repel. Repel means to push away. Magnets may have two ends or poles. Opposite poles attract. The same poles repel. A magnet makes this game work. The magnet pulls pieces of metal. Magnets pull with more force when they are close to metal. Magnets pull with less force when they are far from metal. Making sounds. Look at these instruments. How do they make sounds? When a sound is made. Something vibrates. Vibrate means to move back and forth very fast. Force changes sound. A strong tap makes a different sound than a light tap. Finding sounds. Sounds are all around. Suppose you are in a toy store. You might hear a toy bell ringing. You might hear a toy drum playing. You might hear a toy car beeping. You might hear a grown-up saying, "It is time to go." Sounds are in nature. Suppose you are on this beach. You might hear birds chirping. You might hear the waves crashing. You might hear the wind blowing. Things move. Sometimes this movement makes sound. Sometimes this movement puts things in different places. Movement and sound are all around. Habitats by Arlene Block. What is a forest habitat? Plants and animals live in a habitat. A habitat gives shelter. A habitat has what they need. A forest is a habitat. Animals live in a forest. A forest has trees and plants. Forest plants and animals. It is summer. Animals can get food. Animals can get water. Plants can get sun. Plants can get water. It is winter. How did the forest change? Plants get less sun. Some trees drop their leaves. It is hard for some animals to find food. What is a wetland habitat? A wetland is a habitat. A wetland is covered with water. Animals live in a wetland. Plants live in a wetland. A wetland has what they need.
What is an ocean habitat? An ocean is a habitat. An ocean has salt water. Plants live in an ocean. Animals live in an ocean. An ocean has what they need. What is a desert habitat? A desert is a habitat. A desert is very dry. A desert gets a lot of sun. Plants and animals live in a desert. This animal lives in a desert. It needs very little water. Plants live in many habitats. Animals live in many habitats. Plants and animals get what they need in their habitats. How Plants and Animals Live by Tristan F. Nicholas What helps animals live in their habitats? Animals live in many habitats. Their body parts help them. Some animals live in cold habitats. Fur helps them keep warm. Living in the ocean. Shells keep some animals safe. Some animals have antennae. Antennae are feelers. Antennae help them smell and taste, too. How do animals get food? Animals use parts of their bodies to get food. Birds use beaks to eat food. Camels store fat in their humps. They use the fat for food. Other ways animals get food. Lions have strong legs. Lions can run fast. Lions can catch food. What can help protect animals? Camouflage makes an animal or plant hard to see. Camouflage can be a color or a shape. Camouflage helps living things stay safe. Hiding in the water. The crocodile lives in the water. It keeps its eyes above the water. The other animals do not see it. Animals warn of danger. Animals help each other stay safe. A deer lifts its tail when it is in danger. Other deer can see the tail. They run away to stay safe. A peacock makes a loud call. Other peacocks hide to stay safe. What are some parts of plants? Plant parts help plants live. Roots take in water. Roots hold plants in the ground. The leaf makes food. The flower makes seeds. The stem moves water in the plant. Plants in different habitats. Plants grow in many habitats. Some plants have leaves. Leaves can be many sizes. Leaves can be many shapes. Some leaves look like spines. Some leaves look like needles. What helps protect plants? Spines keep animals away. Spines help some plants stay safe. 
Some plants use camouflage. Camouflage makes the plants hard to see. Plants and animals live in many habitats. Plants and animals use their parts to help them live. Plants and animals help each other. Learning about energy by Tristan F. Nicholas. What gives off heat? Heat moves from warm things to cool things. Heat comes from the light of the sun. Light from the sun warms earth. Heat. Heat comes from fire. Heat makes things warm. Heat comes from other things too. What can energy do? Light is a kind of energy. Light from the sun is energy. Energy can change things. It can change something from cold to hot. Dark colors take in a lot of light. Light colors take in less light. Things with light colors feel cooler. What makes light and shadows? Light comes from the sun. Light comes from fire, too. Light comes from stars and candles. Light even comes from this bug. Where else does light come from? Making shadows. Things can block light. Toys block light. Shine the light on the toy. A shadow is made. Shadows are made when things block light. The shadow is big when the light is close. The shadow is small when the light is far away. Changing shadows. Shadows can change. A tree makes a shadow in the morning. The tree makes a different shadow at noon. Shadows change when the sun seems to move. What uses energy around us? Fuel is something that is burned. It is burned to make heat or power. Gasoline is a fuel. A car burns gasoline. Now the car has energy. Electricity makes things work. Lights use electricity. Using energy. A fan gets energy from electricity. Plug in the cord. The toy gets energy from a battery. A battery stores energy. How do you get energy? You use energy all the time. You get energy from food. Energy helps you move and grow. Machines at Work by Kim Borland What You Already Know Technology is using science to solve problems. Technology changes over time. Technology helps people. Tools and machines are kinds of technology. They help people do work. Tools and machines are used to farm. They are used to build. Tools and machines are also used to communicate. A computer is a tool we use to communicate. Simple machines are tools that have few or no moving parts. People use them to do different kinds of work. Wedges push things apart. 
Wheels and axles move things. Screws hold things together. Levers lift things. Pulleys and inclined planes move things up and down. Simple machines help people work. Some big machines are made up of simple machines. The big machines in this book help people build things. Diggers are used on building sites. On site. Have you ever heard the roar of busy machines at a building site? Have you ever seen the different machines at work? Many different machines are used to build buildings on a site. You might see machines that dig. You might see machines that pick up and drop or dump. Bulldozers, wheel loaders, and cranes can all help on a building site. Each big machine has a job to do. Some machines carry. Some machines push. Some machines lift. But they are all alike in an important way. They help people do hard jobs. These big machines are alike in another way too. They have simple machines in them. Some of these big machines use wheels and axles, screws, levers, and pulleys to do their work. Diggers. Just say the name, and you will know what diggers do. They dig. They dig big holes. The long arm of the machine bends down to the ground. The bucket digs into the ground, then it scoops up a load of rocks, sand, and dirt. The arm lifts the bucket up when it is full. The digger swings around and dumps the load. Then the digger turns back to the hole. It is ready to lift another load. Dump trucks. Dump trucks move heavy loads. They carry the loads across building sites. Some dump trucks move loads away from the building site. Other dump trucks bring loads to the building site. Dump trucks can move lots of sand and dirt in and out of the site. Pedals and levers lift the dump truck's box. The arms push the box up. The back of the dump truck swings open to unload. The load rumbles and rumbles out of the box. It falls onto the ground. Then the driver brings the empty box back down. Bulldozers. A bulldozer's job is to make the ground flat. The big blades push heavy loads of stones and dirt over the ground. Other big machines can go to work after a bulldozer has made a place flat and clear. Bulldozers do not have tires. They move along on tracks. The tracks are made of many little parts that join together. They spin around to move the machine. The tracks grip the ground. They keep the big machine from sinking into mud. A bulldozer is a slow-moving machine, but do not let that fool you. It is one of the most powerful machines. It can push very heavy loads. Wheel loaders and forklifts. Wheel loaders and forklifts move big loads from one place to another. These machines can have different parts on the front. The different parts help move different things. Some have scoops on the front. Some have forks. All wheel loaders have a moving arm. Levers slide the forks or the scoop under the load. Levers lift the load up off the ground. 
Then the machine moves the load to a new place. Cranes Cranes are tall machines that lift and move heavy loads. Cranes use pulleys to move their loads. Different kinds of cranes do different jobs. Some cranes load things on ships. Some cranes lift things to the tops of tall buildings. Some cranes even lift other cranes. Keep your eyes open the next time you pass a building site. Maybe you will see diggers, dump trucks, bulldozers, wheel loaders, and cranes at work. Each one uses simple machines to get the heavy jobs done. Making Music by Natalie Goldstein What You Already Know Force is a push or pull that can move things. There are different kinds of force. You push a sled to make it move. Your push is a force. You use force to throw a ball. The force of gravity makes the ball fall to the ground. Gravity pulls things toward the ground. You throw a ball with a lot of force. It moves fast. You throw a ball with less force. It moves slowly. Speed is how quickly or slowly something moves. Things move in different ways. Things can move up and down. Things can move right to left. Other things move in a straight line, a curve, or a zigzag. Things can be in different places. A magnet makes some metal things move. A magnet has a north pole and a south pole. Poles that are different attract each other. Attract means to pull toward. Poles that are the same repel each other. Repel means to push away. When a sound is made, something vibrates. Vibrate means to move back and forth very fast. When you hit a drum, the force makes it vibrate. The vibrating drum makes sound. Sounds are all around. People make sounds. Nature makes sounds. You will read how musical sounds are made. Sound and music. When something vibrates, the air around it vibrates too. The vibration moves through the air. You hear sound when the vibration gets to your ears. Instruments vibrate to make sounds. A musical sound is called a note. Different musical instruments make different sounds that we can hear. Blowing air into a recorder makes vibrations. Tapping piano keys makes vibrations too. Hitting a pot makes it vibrate like a drum. Different musical instruments make the air vibrate differently. So different instruments make different sounds. Percussion Some instruments make sound when you hit or shake them. These are percussion instruments. A xylophone has bars. Tapping the bars with a stick makes the bars vibrate. Different bars make different sounds. Tambourines and drums vibrate when they are hit. Maracas vibrate when the seeds inside them move. Notes start and stop at different times. This is called a rhythm. Hit a drum. Boom, ba, ba, boom. The drum plays the rhythm. 
blowing notes. You blow air into some instruments. The air vibrates inside the instrument. The vibrations make sound. Bottles that have a little water inside also have lots of air inside. Blowing into them makes the air vibrate. Low sounds happen. What kind of sounds happen when you blow into a bottle with lots of water? Instruments you blow into are called wind instruments. A recorder is a wind instrument. Blow into a recorder. The air inside vibrates. A recorder has small holes on one side. Covering different holes changes how the air inside vibrates. It makes different musical notes. Brass instruments are wind instruments made of metal. Many brass instruments have curves. The curves change the way the air inside vibrates. This makes different musical sounds. Some brass instruments have keys to press. Some have a slide that moves. Keys and slides help change notes. Strings and things. Some instruments have strings to pluck or pull. The strings vibrate. This makes the air inside the instrument move. Sound is made. A guitar may have six strings. Thin strings make high notes. Thick strings make low notes. A violin is a string instrument. A bow moves the strings. The air inside the instrument vibrates. Fingers press the strings down as the bow moves. Pressing different strings makes different notes. A cello is like a big violin. Because it is bigger, it has more air inside. A cello makes lower notes than a violin. There are strings inside a piano. Near each string is a tiny hammer. Tap a piano key. One hammer moves. It hits one string. The string vibrates and makes a note. Playing together. All musical sounds are made by vibrating air. Vibrations in musical instruments, water bottles, and singing voices all make sounds. A little air vibrating makes a different sound than a lot of air vibrating. Different instruments vibrate in different ways. This is why instruments make different musical sounds. Together, the sounds can make many kinds of music. Many Leaves by Anne Rossi What you already know. Animals live in different habitats. Animal body parts help them live. Animals use their body parts to help them find food. Animals also have ways to stay safe where they live. Animals have many ways to stay safe. Sometimes they help each other. Sometimes they use camouflage. Plants are different from animals. Plants do not have antennae to help them. But plants are like animals in many ways. Their parts help them live in different habitats, too. Chameleons use camouflage to stay safe. Plants have parts. Roots take in water. They also hold the plant in the ground. The stem moves water around the plant. 
The leaf makes food. The flower makes seeds. Plants have different kinds of leaves. Plant parts help plants stay safe. Some plants use camouflage too. In this book, you will learn about leaves that live in different places. You will find out that different leaves help plants live in different kinds of places. Leaf life. There are many different kinds of leaves. Leaves grow in many places in the world. They have special parts to help them live in all these places. Leaves come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. Some are as small as a baby's little toe, but some are as long as a bus. You will see many kinds of leaves on these pages. Woodland leaves. Many kinds of leaves grow in woodlands. Woodlands are places with lots of trees. Woodlands have simple leaves and compound leaves. A simple leaf is one leaf on one stem. A compound leaf has many leaves on one stem. Some leaves change color in the fall. This happens when the days are short and the nights are cool. The leaves fall to the ground by winter. New leaves grow in spring. Evergreens stay green all year. They grow new leaves as they shed their old ones. Holly and laurel are evergreens. So are most conifers. Conifers are plants that have cones. Maybe you have seen a pine cone from a conifer. Many evergreens have small leaves with points. These leaves are better for living where it is cold. The leaves have wax on them. This keeps water in. Plants need to keep water in cold places. Tropical leaves. The tropics are hot and wet places. The weather is perfect for palm plants. Most palms have leaves that look like fans or feathers. Some palm leaves are very big. Rainforests and jungles are in the tropics. Their treetops make a thick cover. Not much light from the sun gets to the forest floor. Leaves that grow under the cover can be very large. Their size helps them get enough light to make food. Desert leaves. Many desert plants have small spines. These leaves do not give off much water. Spines also keep plants safe from animals that want to eat them. Some plants store water in thick, waxy leaves. The waxy leaves help keep water inside the plant. Plants need to keep water when they live in hot, dry places. Watery leaves. Leaves that grow in water can be big or small. The flat, wide leaves of the water lily float on water. The giant water lily can grow to be as big as a car. The next time you see a plant, look at its leaves. See their size, shape, and color. Then think about how the leaves, big or small, help the plant to live. Matter by Arlene Block. Matter. Look all around. 
Most of what you see is matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. Matter is made of tiny parts. Some parts are too small to see. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. All these things are matter. You can use words to tell about matter. You can tell its size, shape, or color. You can tell how it feels. You can tell how heavy it is. Solids, liquids, and gases. Matter can be solid, liquid, or gas. A solid takes up space. A solid has its own shape. You can move a solid. The shape will not change. A liquid takes up space. It is different from a solid. A liquid can change shape. A liquid takes the shape of what holds it. A gas takes up space. A gas can change size and shape. Gas takes the size and shape of what holds it. You cannot see most gases. Air is a gas. Matter changes. The paper has one shape. You can cut it into new shapes. This is a liquid. Pour it. Freeze it. A liquid can change to a solid. A solid can melt. It can change to a liquid. You can mix matter. You can mix solids and liquids together. You can take the solids out. Some solids dissolve in liquids. The solid spreads through the liquid. The water is a liquid. The powder is a solid. The solid dissolves in the liquid. It makes red paint. Water changes. Water can be solid, liquid, or gas. Liquid water can freeze when it gets very cold. The water changes to ice. Ice is a solid. Heat melts ice. The ice changes to water. Heat makes water boil. The water changes to water vapor. Water vapor is a gas. The sun shines. Soon, this puddle will be gone. Where will the water go? It will evaporate. It will change from a liquid to a gas. Other ways matter changes. Some matter can change into a different kind of matter. The horseshoe is made of iron. The outside has changed to rust. Wood can burn. The wood becomes ash. It will not change back to wood. What can you see that takes up space? This is matter. Matter is everywhere you look. Movement and Sound by Heidi Gillis What makes things move? Force is a push or pull. Force may make something move. Push the sled up a hill. Gravity is a force. Gravity pulls things down. The sled goes down the hill. What is speed? Push the car. Push it with a lot of force. It goes fast. Speed is how fast or slow things move. Push the car again. Use less force. Now the speed of the car is slow. 
Force changes how things move. How do things move? Things can move up and down. Things can move left and right. They can go straight or curve. How else can things move? Different places. Look at the blocks. Which one is on top? Which one is on the bottom? Which one is next to the tower? What do magnets do? Look at the cars. The ends of the cars are magnets. A magnet attracts some metals. Attract means to pull toward. A pole is the end of some magnets. Magnets have a north pole. Magnets have a south pole. North attracts south. North repels north. Repel means to push away. Pulling metal. Iron is a kind of metal. Magnets attract things made of iron. The magnet pulls more when it is close to something. It pulls less when it is far away. How are sounds made? When a sound is made, something vibrates. Vibrate means to move back and forth very fast. Tap the drum. It makes a soft sound. Hit the drum hard. It makes a loud sound. What sounds are around us? Many things make sounds. Sounds can be loud or soft. You can hear sounds on the street. Sounds of nature. Sounds are all around. Nature has sounds too. What are ocean sounds? Observing Matter by Anna Schlecker What is matter? Matter takes up space. It has mass. It has tiny parts. Some parts are too small to see. Describing matter. Matter can have different shapes. It can have different sizes. How are the things in this picture alike and different? What are solids, liquids, and gases? A solid is matter. It takes up space. A solid does not change shape. A liquid is matter. This liquid takes the shape of the bottle. A liquid takes the shape of what it is in. A liquid size does not change. A gas is matter. It takes up space. It can change size and shape. It takes the shape of what it is in. Bubbles are filled with air. Air is a gas. How does matter change? 
Matter can change. It can change in many ways. A liquid can freeze when it is cold. A solid can melt when it is hot. Mixing solids and liquids. Soup is made of solids and liquids. The solids and liquids are mixed. You can take the solids out of the liquid. Some solids dissolve in liquids. Dissolve means to spread throughout a liquid. How can water change? Water is a liquid. Water can freeze when it gets cold. The water changes to ice. Ice is a solid. Heat melts ice. The ice changes to water. Water boils when it gets very hot. The water changes to a gas. This gas is water vapor. What are other ways matter changes? Heat makes water evaporate. Evaporate means to change from liquid to gas. The sun can make water on the ground evaporate. Paper is a solid. Paper can burn. It will not turn back into paper. Matter is all around us. It can change. On the Seashore by Barbara L. Luciano What you already know Living things have needs. Plants, animals, and people all need things to grow and stay healthy. Living things need food. Some living things eat only plants. Other living things eat only animals. Some living things eat both plants and animals. Food chains connect all living things. They show what different living things eat. Plants are parts of food chains. They make their own food. They use air, sunlight, and water to do it. Plants give off oxygen. Oxygen is a gas in the air. People and animals need oxygen to live. Rainforests are habitats. They get a lot of rain. Marshes are wetland habitats. All habitats have food chains. In this book, you are going to read about a seashore habitat. Have you ever been to the seashore? There are lots of living creatures there. You will see some of these animals. You will find out what they eat. Seashore The seashore is a habitat. There is a lot of sand and water at the seashore. The water is sometimes deep. The water is sometimes shallow. It changes when tides bring water in and out. Many plants make their homes at the seashore. Many animals live there, too. There are food chains at the seashore. 
Food chains connect living things. Different living things need different food. Food chains show the ways living things get their food. Let us learn about some animals that live at the seashore. Let us find out what they eat. We can learn about seashore food chains. Dog whelk. A dog whelk is a seashore animal. It has a soft body and a hard shell. The shell can be many colors. This one has stripes on its shell. The dog whelk eats animals such as barnacles, limpets, and mussels. Other animals, such as crabs or seabirds, can eat the dog whelk, but its hard shell helps keep it safe. Sea anemone. The sea anemone may look like a plant, but it is an animal. Sea anemones live on rocks or coral. Coral are living things that look like rocks. A sea anemone uses its tentacles. It catches and eats small fish or shrimp. Sea stars, snails, or fish might eat sea anemones. Queen scallop. A queen scallop is an animal with a shell. The shell is in two parts. A queen scallop lives with other queen scallops. They live on sand under the water. They eat algae. Algae are living things that are like plants in some ways. Seabirds and sea stars can eat queen scallops. Rockling. A rockling is a fish. It is fast in the water. Young rocklings stay in schools or groups of fish. Rocklings eat animals such as shrimp, small crabs, and prawns. Rocklings need to watch out for birds and fish called mackerel. If they are not careful, the rocklings could be dinner. Hermit crab. Hermit crabs live in a shell. They can hide in the shells. This helps protect them from seabirds that might want to eat them. Some people keep hermit crabs as pets. A pet hermit crab might eat fruit or vegetables. A seashore hermit crab eats what it can find. Sea star. Sea stars are small, slow animals. They can move in any direction. They do not have to turn to move. Sea stars eat worms, mussels, and creatures with shells. Did you know that a sea star can push its stomach out of its mouth? Some fish and some crustaceans eat sea stars. King ragworm. The king ragworm lives in the sand. It will sometimes dig into the ground. It can hide from the seabirds that want to eat it. What does the king ragworm eat? It eats both plants and animals. It eats fish eggs, animal parts, and plants. Oyster catcher. An oyster catcher is a bird. It lives near the water. It uses its bill to eat. Do not believe the oyster catcher's name. It eats mussels. It also eats worms, shrimp, and small crabs. Oyster catchers have to watch out for foxes and rats. Seashore animals. There are many animals at the seashore. They are all part of food chains. Every habitat has food chains that connect the creatures that live there. If you go to the seashore, see if you can find any of the creatures you found in this book.
Many living things can be found in a seashore habitat. Places in the World by Arlene Block What you already know. Weather is what it is like outside. Weather changes from day to day. It can be hot or cold. It can be wet or dry. The wind can blow. There can be clouds. The sun can shine. Weather can be measured with tools. A thermometer is a weather tool. It measures the temperature. It tells how hot or cold something is. Different clouds bring different kinds of weather. Water vapor is a kind of water in the air. Clouds form when water vapor cools. Rain, sleet, and snow are kinds of wet weather. Seasons are times of the year. Seasons happen in a pattern. Weather changes during the year. In some places, weather changes a lot during the seasons. What if you are going on a trip? Should you pack a t-shirt or a warm coat? In this book, you will find out what it is like in different places in the world. Wear warm clothes if you visit somewhere snowy. Changing seasons. Some places are always hot. Some places are always cold. Some places have temperatures that change. They have four different seasons. It is cold and snowy in winter. It is warm in spring. It is hot in summer. It is cool in fall. Many plants can live with season changes. Some trees change with the seasons. Their leaves turn colors in the fall. Then the leaves drop. New leaves grow in the spring. Animals can live with the season changes too. Squirrels store food when it is warm. Then they are ready for the winter. Mountain Places In places with mountains, the air stays cool most of the year. The temperature can be very cold on mountaintops. Some of the peaks, or tops, have snow and ice all year. It is too cold for trees or plants to grow there. It is not as cold at the bottom. Plants and trees grow near the bottoms of mountains. The body parts of some animals help them live on mountains. Mountain goats live on mountains. They have hooves. Their hooves help them climb and jump from rock to rock. Their thick fur coats keep them warm. Many people like to ski on snowy mountains. Desert Places You will not get wet in a desert. Deserts are very dry. They do not get much rain. The sun shines on most days. The temperature can be very hot. There are not many clouds. The temperature drops at night. It gets much colder. Many plants and animals live in deserts. The scorpion sleeps under a rock in the day. It is cool and shady under the rock. At night, the scorpion comes out to look for food. Desert plants do not need much water. Many different cactus plants live in deserts. They can store water for a long time. Strong winds blow sand into piles called dunes. 
tropical places. Leave your warm coat at home if you go to a tropical place. The air there stays warm all year. It is warm in the day and at night. Tropical places are the warmest places in the world. There is a lot of rain. Most rainforests and some beaches are tropical places. Different plants and animals live in rainforests. Many plants grow well where it is warm and wet. These plants are food for many kinds of animals. Some animals, such as chameleons, live in the trees. Other animals live on the ground. Polar places. What are the coldest places on Earth? Polar places. It is very cold in these places most of the year. Snow and ice cover the ground. Huge blocks of ice float in the water. Very little sun shines in the winter. It is hard for living things to be where it is so cold. Not many people live in polar places. Some people live in polar places all year. People in polar places need to wear clothes that keep them warm. Only a few plants can grow. Some animals live in polar places. Penguins live in polar places all year. Their fat helps keep them warm. They also have thick coats of feathers. Many places. It is different in different places in the world. There are four different seasons in some places. Mountain places are cool most of the year. Deserts are dry. Tropical places are hot and wet all year. Polar places are the coldest places on Earth. They are cold and icy all year long. Different places have different plants and animals. Some animals have special body parts that help them where they live. People live in different places too. What is it like where you live? Places by Mary Catherine Tate Habitats. All plants and animals need a place to live. A habitat is a place where plants and animals live. A habitat has air. A habitat has food. A habitat has water. A habitat has shelter for some animals and plants. There are different kinds of habitats. Some habitats are on land. Some habitats are in water. Forests. A forest is a land habitat. A forest has lots of trees. Forests have what some plants and animals need. Forests change. A habitat can change. Habitats can be different at different times of the year. Forest plants get a lot of sunlight in the summer. They get less light in the winter. Wetlands. A wetland habitat is covered with water. Wetlands have what some plants and animals need. Wetlands change. Wetlands are different at different times of the year, too. Wetlands get a lot of rain in the summer. They get less rain in the winter. Oceans An ocean is a water habitat. It has salt water. It is big and deep. 
Oceans have what some plants and animals need. Deserts. A desert is a land habitat. It is very dry. It gets very little rain. Deserts have what some plants and animals need. Living in habitats. Plants and animals in habitats have ways to live. Animals in deserts do not need much water. Living things in deserts have ways to live in sandy, dry places. Some desert rats can live a long time with no water. They can get water from seeds. Some plants can grow in sand. Grasslands. A grassland is a land habitat. There are grasslands all over the world. Grasslands have what some plants and animals need. One kind of grassland is a prairie. A prairie has tall grasses and other plants. Grasslands change. Grasslands can be different at different times of the year. Prairies can be hot in the summer. They can be cold in the winter. Living in a grassland. Grasslands are big and open. They do not have much shelter for big animals. Some animals do not need it. Some prairie animals stay in large groups. This helps them stay safe. Some grasses in grasslands can take lots of water from the ground. They can get the water they need when it is dry. Different places. There are many different habitats. Different plants and animals live in different habitats. Habitats have what some plants and animals need. Saving the Earth by Megan Litwin. What you already know. Land, water, and air are important to us. The surface of Earth is made up of land and water. Some kinds of land are plains, hills, and cliffs. Some kinds of water are rivers, lakes, and oceans. There is more water than land on the Earth. Rocks and soil come from the Earth. Rocks are non-living things. Rocks are a natural resource. Living things can use them. Soil is a natural resource. Soil has sand, clay, and hummus in it. Sometimes the land changes over time. Water and ice can make rocks break and change. This is weathering. Erosion is when wind or water moves rocks and soil. People use land, water, and air in many ways. Land is used to grow trees and food. Minerals come from the land. They are found in rocks. Water can be used for bathing, drinking, and cleaning. It can be a home for animals. Living things use air to breathe and grow. Some natural resources could run out. We can help save land, water, and air if we reuse, reduce, and recycle. This book will help you find ways to reuse, reduce, and recycle to help save the Earth. The Earth. The Earth gives us natural resources. We need them to live, but we have to take care of the Earth. We can help save the Earth's land, water, and air. We can help if we do the three R's. The three R's are reduce, reuse, and recycle. We reduce when we use less. We make less trash when we use less. We save resources. 
We reuse when we use things again. Things can do the same job more than once. Things can also be changed to do new jobs. We recycle when we make old things into new things. Old car tires can be recycled. They can be made into mats for floors. The Earth's resources are important to us. It is our job to care for them. Reduce. Did you know that most people in the United States throw away four pounds of garbage every day? That is as much as a small dog weighs. You can throw away less. Think about what goes in your garbage cans at home and at school. You can reduce the resources you use. Turn off lights after you use them. This can save electricity. Do not forget to turn off water taps when you are done. Running water can waste many full glasses. Try turning off the water when you brush your teeth too. Take the school bus or walk if you can. This will save gas. One bus can carry as many people as forty cars. Carry your lunch in a lunch box. Use it again and again. You do not have to throw away bags each time. Reuse. Use things over again. Use them in the same way. Use them for something different. You can use a basket or a pack for your groceries instead of lots of bags. Save the bags you do use. Reuse them for your next trip to the store. There are many more things you can reuse. How about giving your clothes to other people when they get too small for you? That is a great way to reuse. Pass clothing on to small children. Give clothes you do not want to a store that can sell them to others. Use both sides when you use paper. This will reduce how many pieces you need. You can reuse lots of things for art. Paper rolls, plastic bottles, old containers, paper bags, and pieces of gift paper can all be turned into beautiful art. Recycle. Lots of what we throw away can be recycled. Recycling turns trash into something we can use. It helps save resources. Recycling paper saves lots of trees. It also reduces how much trash there is. Look for the recycling symbol on things you buy. There are many things that can be recycled. Paper, glass, plastic, and metal can all be made into new things. Many places have special recycling containers. In some places, people come to pick up things in these containers. In other places, people bring things to a recycling center. Things from nature are easy to recycle. Old leaves and grass can be put in a compost pile. Old food can go in too. Compost becomes fertilizer. Fertilizer can be put on soil to help plants grow. Work together. There are many ways you can help save Earth's resources: reduce, reuse, and recycle. You can do your part to help. Put recycling containers in your home or at school. Remember the three R's. We can all work together to help protect the earth. Science all around, by Lily Samuels. Growing food. Food comes from many places. Some food grows on farms. Machines help farmers grow food. Machines are a kind of technology. Technology is using science to solve problems. 
farming machines have changed over time. Planting and growing green beans. Plows make the soil ready. Seed drills help farmers plant bean seeds. Machines make the work take less time. Machines make the work easier. From the farm to the store. The beans grow. They are ready. The farmers will harvest the beans. Sometimes farmers use machines. The green beans are picked from the plant. They are put on a truck. Off they go to the store. Tools to make dinner. Tools make work easier. Each tool does a different job. Let's make pizza for dinner. What tools do we need? Serving pizza. It is time to eat. Tools can help. What tools can we use to serve the pizza? Getting wood. Long ago, people used hand tools to cut down trees. They used rivers to move the logs. Now technology has changed. Big machines help cut and move logs. Tree shears help cut logs. Grapplers help move logs. Moving logs. Trucks take the logs to a sawmill. Machines help move the logs on and off the trucks. Machines also help cut the logs into boards. Simple machines. A simple machine is a tool. It has few or no moving parts. It makes work easier. Simple machines help do many different jobs. A wedge is a simple machine. A wedge is used to push things apart. The red tool in the log is a wedge. A wheel and axle is a simple machine. A wheel and axle is used to move things. The things on this page have wheels and axles. Using simple machines. A screw is a simple machine. A screw is used to hold things together. A lever is a simple machine. A lever is used to lift something. A pulley is a simple machine. A pulley can move things up and down. It uses a rope and wheel. Do you see two pulleys? An inclined plane is a simple machine. An inclined plane is high at one end. It is low at the other end. It makes things easier to move. Tools to communicate. Long ago, people did not have the technology we have now. There were no computers, cameras, televisions, or radios. Now we communicate using all these things. Technology has changed. Long ago, tools and machines were different. Look around your world. What tools and machines do you use? Science in Our World by Zachary Cohn.
How do farmers use technology to grow food? Food comes from many places. Food comes from lakes. Food comes from animals. Food comes from farms. Machines help farmers. Machines are technology. Technology is using science to solve problems. Technology changes with time. Planting and growing corn. The farmer plows the soil. The plow makes the job easier. The plow is technology. The soil is ready to plant. The farmer plants seeds. The farmer uses a seed drill. A seed drill is technology. It makes the work go faster. How does food get from the farm to the store? The corn plants grow. The farmer picks the corn. This is called a harvest. Machines help the farmer. The corn is ready to sell. It is put on a truck. The truck takes the corn to the store. What tools can you use to make dinner? People use tools. Tools make work easier. Each tool is used for a different job. Serving dinner. We need tools to make dinner. What will you use? A spoon can lift the meat. Tongs can pick up lettuce. How do builders get wood for a house? Workers used axes long ago. Now they use machines. One machine cuts the trees. One moves the heavy logs. Moving logs to the sawmill. This machine picks up the logs. It places them on the truck. The truck goes to the mill. The logs are cut in the mill. What are simple machines? People use simple machines. A simple machine is a tool. It has few or no moving parts. Simple machines help do jobs. A wedge is a simple machine. It pushes things apart. A wheel and axle is a simple machine. It moves things. Using simple machines, a screw holds things together. A lever lifts things. A pulley moves things up and down. An inclined plane has one high end and one low end. What can you use to communicate? Computers are technology. Technology is used to communicate. The ways we communicate have changed. Swamp Life by Kristen Kishore. What you already know. A habitat is a place where animals and plants live. A habitat has air, food, water, and shelter. A forest is a habitat. A forest has many plants. The forest has food, 
water, and sunlight for plants and animals in summer. It has less in the winter. An ocean is a habitat. An ocean has salt water. Plants and animals live in the ocean. A desert is a habitat. A desert is dry. It does not rain much. Deserts have lots of sunlight. Many deserts are hot. Many plants and animals live in the desert. A wetland is a habitat. A wetland has a lot of water. One kind of wetland is a swamp. Plants and animals live in wetland habitats. Plants and animals live in many different habitats. In this book, you will learn about swamps. You will learn about the plants and animals that call the swamp their home. Life in a swamp. A swamp is a wet place. Most swamps are full of water. Sometimes a swamp looks like a lake with trees and plants growing in it. There are swamps all over the world. The dirt in a swamp is waterlogged. This means that the dirt is always very wet. There is a lot of mud. A swamp has many kinds of plants. Many animals live in the swamp too. Some animals live in the water. Some animals climb in the trees. Plants. Many kinds of plants grow in swamps. Cypress trees grow in the water. The trunks are very wide at the bottom. They have long roots. Part of the roots grow on top of the water. The roots grab the wet dirt. Mangrove trees also live in the water. These trees can look like they are walking in the water. Trees are important to life in a swamp. Animals eat their leaves. Trees give food and shelter to animals in the swamp. Some plants need a lot of water. These plants grow well in swamps. The water hyacinth is a swamp plant. It floats on the water. It has big blue flowers. It can be as tall as a kitchen stove. Water lettuce is also a floating plant. It has big green leaves. Many animals live near swamp plants. The plants give these animals food and shelter. The spiny-bellied orb weaver is a spider that lives in swamps. Guess how this spider gets its name? It has ten spines on its belly. The apple snail is a very big snail. It can be as long as a pen. In the water. Some swamp animals swim in the water. Sometimes these animals rest at the edge of the water. Turtles, snakes, lizards, caimans, and alligators swim in swamp water. Most of this caiman is under the water. Its eyes stay on top of the water to see. A caiman looks like an alligator, but it has a bump on top of its nose. It also has thick skin on its belly. Alligators and caimans look like logs when they are in the water. This helps them catch prey. They can be very dangerous. In the trees, animals in swamps live in the water. They also live in the trees. A green tree frog climbs and rests in swamp trees. A bobcat is kind of a cat. It has long legs and a short tail. Bobcats swim and climb well. A swamp is a good home for them. Raccoons find the food and shelter they need in swamps. A raccoon 
looks like it is wearing a black mask. It also has black stripes on its tail. Raccoons eat animals and plants. They climb well in the trees of swamps. Trees are home to many swamp animals. Birds. Many birds live in swamps. A lot of swamp birds wade in the water. They are wading birds. Wading birds have long legs and necks. They look for food in the water. Their toes are long and spread out. This helps them stand on wet ground. Wading birds eat animals like fish and insects. Flamingos are wading birds. They have webbed feet to help them stand in the mud. Blue herons are also wading birds. They use their beaks to catch food. They can stand in the water or on the land. Many plants and animals have special parts that help them live in these wet places. These plants and animals make up a swamp habitat. The Sky by Lisa Orham The Day Sky Look up at the sky. What does it look like now? The day sky and night sky are different. The sky is bright in the day. The sun is a big ball of hot gas. It makes the day sky bright. Sometimes you can see the moon in the day sky. Most of the time you can see the moon at night. The sun. The sun is bigger than earth. The sun looks small to us. It is far away. Earth gets light from the sun. Earth gets heat from the sun, too. The sun seems to move in the sky. This is because Earth is moving. Where is the sun in the sky over you now? Day and Night Earth turns around and around. This is its rotation. One rotation takes Earth one day. We do not feel Earth moving, but it turns very fast. Earth rotates. There is day and night. Part of Earth faces the sun. Part of Earth faces away from the sun. It is day for one part. It is night for the other part. The flashlight is like the sun. The globe is like Earth. The light shines on one side. When the globe turns, the other side gets the light. The side in the light has day. It is always day for half of Earth. It is always night for the other half of Earth. Day and night happen because Earth turns. The Night Sky Sometimes we can see stars in the night sky. We can see planets, too. A star is a ball of hot gas. Stars give off light. The sun is a star. The sun is the closest star to Earth. Some people make wishes when they see stars. Earth is a planet. Earth 
moves around the sun. Eight other planets do too. Planets do not give off light. Some planets are hard to see from Earth. Telescopes help people see things from far away. Telescopes make things in the sky look closer to Earth. The moon. The moon is far away, but we do not need a telescope to see it. The moon moves around Earth. The moon is not a planet. The moon is not a star. The moon has no air, plants, or animals. The sun lights part of the moon. This is the part we see. The moon looks different each night. It looks round and full. Then it looks thin. Then it looks full again. The moon is full again every twenty-nine days or so. Look up. What can you see in the sky now? Humans have walked on the moon. What is weather? By Carol Levine. Measuring weather. What is it like outside where you live? What is the weather like today? Weather changes all the time. Is it wet or dry? Are there clouds? Can you see the sun? Is there wind? How hot or cold is it? Temperature is how hot or cold something is. Temperature changes. We measure temperature using numbers. The temperature is a high number when it is hot. The temperature is a low number when it is cold. Weather tools. There are many weather tools. A thermometer tells the temperature. It shows the numbers. A wind vane tells which way the wind is blowing. A snow gauge tells how much snow falls. A rain gauge tells how much rain falls. Clouds. Water vapor. Is water in the air? You cannot see water vapor. Clouds are made when water vapor cools. Clouds are made of many tiny drops of water or ice. There are many different kinds of clouds. Different clouds bring different weather. Most high clouds mean good weather. Most low clouds mean bad weather. Very low clouds make fog. Wet weather. There are different kinds of wet weather. Wet weather can help living things. Plants need water from wet weather, but many living things look for shelter from wet weather. Rain. Rain is a kind of wet weather. Some living things want to stay dry when it rains. Sleet. Sleet is a kind of wet weather. Rain can turn to sleet when it is cold. Sleet is rain that freezes. Snow is a kind of wet weather. Snow is water that freezes high in the air. It falls from the clouds when it is very cold. Many living things look for warm shelter when it snows. There are different kinds of snowstorms. There is lots of snow in a blizzard. Light snow that falls for a short time is called a flurry. A snowburst 
has lots of snow that falls quickly. Seasons. A season is a time of year. There are four seasons in each year. They are spring, summer, fall, and winter. The seasons always come in the same order. Seasons have different weather in different places. Spring can be warm. Summer can be hot. Fall can be cool. Winter can be cold. Winter can be very cold in some places. Seasons change in a pattern. Spring is before summer. Summer is before fall. Fall is before winter. Winter is before spring. Then the pattern starts again. Weather is always changing. Living things find ways to live in all kinds of weather. Look out the window. See what the weather is now. What do you think the weather will be tomorrow? What We Need by Barbara L. Luciano What You Already Know Plants, animals, and people are living things. Living things are alive. Living things can grow and change. When they grow up, living things can have young living things. Many living things can move. A need is something a living thing must have to live. Most living things need air, food, and water to live. Most living things need space to grow. Many living things need shelter. Non-living things were never alive. They do not grow on their own. They do not change. They do not have needs. Some non-living things come from nature. Water is a non-living thing from nature. Some non-living things are made by people. People make toys. Some toys look and move like living things. But these toys are non-living. All living things have needs. Now we will take a closer look at some of the most important things that living things need. What plants need? Plants need sunlight to live. Some plants need a lot of light. Other plants need just a little light. Plants that grow outside may get a lot of light. Lots of plants live inside. They need light too. These plants should be near windows. Plants need water to live. Did you know that the water must be clean? Water could have things in it that can make plants sick. When a plant's leaves are brown, the plant might be sick. You could water plants with rain that you catch in a cup. Plants need nutrients. Nutrients help plants grow and make food. Nutrients are found in soil. Plants use their roots to take in nutrients. Roots grow into the ground. Can you see the roots of this plant? Plants need space to grow. Their roots need to spread out. This helps them get enough nutrients. The bigger the plant is, the more room it needs. The roots of this big tree grow deep into the dirt. They also reach out far from the tree. When you sit under a tree, 
Its roots are under you. What animals need? Many living things need clean water. Animals need lots of water to live and grow. Animals can get sick if they drink dirty water. It is important to make sure drinking water is safe and clean. Animals need food. Food gives animals energy and nutrients so they can live. Animals eat different things. Some animals, like caterpillars, eat only leaves and plants. Other animals eat only meat. A lion eats meat. So does a tiger. Many animals need air to live. Air is all around. Many animals use their noses and mouths to take in air. Then, air goes to their lungs. Lungs help the body use air. Animals need clean air, just like they need clean water. Clean air helps animals stay healthy. Animals need shelter. A shelter is a safe place to live. Different animals have different shelters. Many birds build nests for shelter. Bees and wasps live in hives. Animals may live in trees or dens. Some animals dig into the ground for shelter. What we need. People are living things. We need food and water to live. We get nutrients and energy from food. Different foods have different nutrients. Eating many kinds of foods is good for you. People also need air to live. We take in air all the time. We even take in air when we sleep. People need shelter too. Shelters keep people warm and dry. No matter where we live, people need shelter. We need safe places wherever we live. What living things need? Some things plants need. Sunlight, water, nutrients from soil, space. Some things animals need. Water, food, air, shelter. Some things we need. Food, water, air, shelter.